okay i'm about to call my first shirt manufacturer so i can stop making shirts in my apartment so let's see how this goes um this is really like my top choice because they are close and i feel like i can save on shipping because they are close but again i don't know how much it's gonna cost i really don't know anything so let's see how it goes But just wanted to hear more about like your process, what your minimums are. Um, yeah, just hoping to get a little bit more information on how this works. I'm Desiree, by the way. Thank you so much. Looking forward to hearing back from you. Okay, I did it. I'm proud of myself. Okay, I'm feeling really good that I made that call this morning because I'm ready to take my small business to the next level and I want to bring you all on the journey with me. I also just want to document it. I wish I would have documented the early process of starting my business um, just so I can look back and just have a reminder of how far I have already come because, you know, I can get, <clears throat> excuse me, I can get you know pretty down sometimes with growing pains and things like that but i am really proud of how far i've come and how i've bootstrapped this business completely by myself 100 percent by myself with the support the moral support of my family but everything financially physically you know emotionally all of that came from me so I'm super proud of that. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about where I am right now and where I'm trying to go. So I run a small business, it's called The Wino Shop. It's an online apparel shop. We sell really cool wine apparel. And I started this in, I think really got kicked off in 2020. Probably started a little bit before then, but 2020 was when I had a lot of time to just go all in because we were all at home and had some extra time. So <clears throat> I've been doing it ever since then. Everything again has been done by me, all of the designs, all of the printing, I bought a heat press, I did tons of research and invested in, um, you know, resources to help me get this business started. And up until now, like, my plant looks really different. Like a different type of plant is growing. I need to look at this. Bizarre. So random. I have a snake plant outside, but it looks like maybe some weeds are growing from it. I don't know. I'll have to Google that. But that just threw me off. Um, where was I? So I invested in resources to help me get the business off the ground. Business has been you know really slow in some periods because if i'm not doing marketing via social media i won't get any order so the more i market obviously the more sales that i get but i recently started running a facebook ad just giving it a try starting with a really small budget and i saw a huge boom in the business like getting so many orders i just truly could not keep up and that's where i am at now i have turned off the ads because i have a ton of orders and i want to catch up and i'm starting to get some you know lower star reviews with complaints about the shipping time i try to be transparent and tell people that processing time is 10 days but nobody wants to hear that in the age of amazon we all want our stuff immediately and i'm the same way as soon as i place the order i'm like when is it gonna deliver when is it gonna deliver so i totally get it i just have to figure out how to overcome this challenge within the business and the problem is is that i'm doing everything from advertising marketing um designing printing shipping customer service and it's just not really feasible because this isn't the only thing that i do uh the business doesn't make enough to pay me just yet so i don't make any money from it all the money just goes directly back into the business so i can't devote 100 percent of my time because i have to focus on the things that actually pay me right now <laughs> that's really where i'm at i wish it was going so well where 
I could focus 100% of my time on it. That would be that would be the ideal scenario, but that's just not where we are now. So where we are now is trying to get some help within the business, and I've decided to contact some manufacturers, some print shops to see if I can place some bulk orders, at least for our most popular shirts, so that those can be done and I can speed up the processing time. I call one place this morning which i got some footage of and um the call went really well i think it it went well i'm waiting on a quote which i'll get via email i've been checking my email like constantly to see if they had sent the quote because i'm just curious about how much it's gonna cost me <laughs> to be honest um and figure out if it's actually going to be feasible for where 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 I am in the business um so that's that's really where I am I want to be able to get orders out within three days I think that is reasonable and fits people's expectations a bit better and I also want to come out with more designs I have so many ideas and I also want to work with a designer so that once I can kind of speed up the the time the processing time make sure the quality is there to keep my customers happy then i can think about growing coming out with new designs and doing doing more um i'm really scared about this next step the reason that i started doing everything on my own because it made the most sense financially of course i did have to make the investment for the equipment and things like that but right now i don't have to hold any inventory because i essentially print on demand when an order comes in that's when the order gets made i hold on to some inventory just so i can you know get the order out quick and i don't have to wait for any blanks or anything like that to come in but um yeah that's it, it made the most sense financially because i don't have to invest a lot in inventory so the way the route that i'm going now is investing a lot of money and kind of just hoping that everything will sell or obviously keep on doing advertising and like pushing products that <clears throat> you know i have a lot of things like that but it's super scary because i'm like i always have this fear what if it all dries up what if there was one day when i was running the ads and i didn't get any sales and i'm like what is going on like is this the end of the business like no i knew this was a fluke so i have to stop having that mindset and sort of self-sabotaging myself because then the next day like i got a bunch of orders and it was just you know a slow day and that happens so dealing with the ups and downs of the business um, is difficult. And I also take things really personally. Like when I've been getting some bad reviews um, lately, I won't even say bad. Like a lot of people are like, we love it. The shirt's great. Quality's great. You know, but slow shipping or I did have one issue with the shirt. Um, I just take those things personally because it is all me. It's 100% me. So when people are saying bad things about my baby, I feel like they're talking to me. So I want to try to get out of that mindset too. And I think getting help will really help me kind of just like, you know, I probably still will get offended. But I don't know. Just create a little bit more separation there. So that's where I am. How long have I been recording for? Seven minutes? Um, I think that's all I have to share. I'd love to answer any questions about running a small business. I'm gonna continue to share this journey again, just so I have something to look back on. Maybe one day I won't be running the wine shop out of my apartment. Maybe one day I'll, you know, have a space or who knows, who knows, who knows. Um, but I do wanna be able to look back in see how far I've come. So thanks for tuning in. That's really all I have for today and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.